There are some who say that there's such a thing as too much firepower. Most people are wrong. This time, we're covering the Spitfire LMG. Suppressive fire has a long history of use in military doctrine. The idea being that in forcing your opponent to keep their head down, they're far less likely to be able to return accurate fire. The advent of the machine gun brought about this tactic. Heavier than most other infantry weapons, either belt-fed or drawing from larger magazines. Light machine guns are named in contrast to emplaced heavy weapons, with the ability to provide automatic support fire as part of a squad. Such weapons are normally still pretty hefty, but modern materials have lightened the load, making it possible for a lone pilot to carry along with a full combat load of ammunition. The Spitfire chambers the same polymer case cartridge as the more common R101 carbine, but its larger mass and more efficient heat sinks make it able to fire hotter, more powerful loads even under sustained fire. All in, you've got a modern, well-engineered weapon that's purpose-built for one thing making sure your enemy are keeping their heads down. Now the Spitfire does much more than just making a lot of noise. Damage is unparalleled for an automatic weapon. You'll kill enemy pilots in just three rounds at a close range, and you'll never need more than five shots for any infantry target. Such power even nudges into useful territory when tackling enemy titans. While I'd still recommend avoiding direct engagement, the large magazine means you can chip away slowly at a Titan's hull without pause. Mount up and get on board for a rodeo attack, and the enemy won't stand a chance. The Spitfire will quickly shred a Titan when hitting its internals, with even the mightiest chassis falling with less than two-thirds of your magazine. There's nothing better for tackling Titans this way, in fact, and if a pilot isn't quick in repelling you, their hard-earned build will be curtains in mere moments. The LMG's effective range is adequate, but none too impressive. Your three-shot kill will start to fade from a middle range out, reaching five shots to kill upon distant targets. Long-range combat is best approached as a means of suppressing the enemy, rather than precision targeting, least of all due to the Spitfire's heavy recoil. The weapon's initial kick will quickly knock you off target, before settling slightly under sustained fire. Even so, it's difficult to precisely land shots at a distance. So instead, it's best to keep the trigger held down and rely on sheer volume of fire. Hipfire performance is persistent but not particularly accurate. But given a deep magazine and a three-shot kill, it can prove effective in cases where you're taken by surprise. Rate of fire is unimpressive at 540 rounds per minute. This pales in comparison to the SMGs and carbines on offer, with some configurations doubling the Spitfire's dispensation. It makes up for this slower output with impressive longevity. Magazine capacity is really the Spitfire's key trait, with a mighty 80 rounds by default. Enough to down Titans and repel entire squads without pause. You will need to reload eventually, however, and you'd better be in a safe place when the time comes. The Spitfire is the slowest reloading pilot weapon, taking 2.8 seconds to resupply. However, considering the generous magazine size, this is usually tolerable. It is only half a second slower than the R101C. Handling is generally slow all round. The LMG is not the most lightweight weapon to wield. You'll need an impressively slow 700 milliseconds to aim, for instance and nearly a full second to switch from your sidearm. All considered then, your mobility remains reasonably high at 95% of the base speed. The Spitfire is ideal for two key roles. Lockdown of a defensive point and quickly shredding Titans in rodeo. The weapon's iron sights are slightly obtrusive but otherwise adequate, but a full complement of alternative optics are available. The first is the Hcock, an open sight ideal for close range engagements with 1.85 times magnification. Perhaps more importantly, it confers a significant advantage. Reducing your weapon's aim time to just 200 milliseconds, massively improving your close range reactivity. 
Next, the Holosite is a mid-range option, with 2.1 times magnification designed for mid to long range sightlines. Unfortunately, the heavy recoil and lack of the HCOG's aim time benefit make it more difficult to use this sight effectively. The same is true of the third option, the AOG. With 2.4 times zoom, you'll get a better view on distant targets, but will ultimately struggle to hit them. With the massive reduction of aim time, there's really only one optical attachment worth considering. The HCOG should be your go-to in all circumstances, unless it's not available to you. In addition to your optical choice, there are two mods to choose from as well. First up is Extended Mags, which, rather predictably, extends your ready ammunition supply. It will take each of your magazines from 80 rounds to 96 instead. A relatively mild, but still substantial, 20% increase. This bump in sustained fireability can make the difference during a critical defence. But whether a mere 16 rounds is worth the alternative option is up to you. The Slammer increases the damage you deal while rodeoing Titans by 50%. A noticeable increase in effectiveness that will shave a third off the time it takes to doom your foe. This makes for the ultimate in direct anti-Titan performance. A Slammer-equipped Spitfire can often dispatch an enemy Titan before the pilot within has time to react. For this reason, the Slammer would be my choice. While both options are useful, the rodeo potency increase is much more decisive in the right scenario. Now for the rest of your build. If you're planning on tackling Titans with the Spitfire, you will want to make sure you have the Cloak equipped as your tactical ability. If you can't disappear from their view, you'll find it much more difficult to get close to enemy Titans. So within such a role, this is perhaps the most important inclusion. The quick reload kit is another worthy consideration, taking your reload speed down to a much keener 1.96 seconds. This will reduce your overall downtime, making for a better sustained defense and an otherwise reduced risk of being caught without a ready weapon. It is aggressive pilots who tackle from an unseen angle that will prove the most troublesome when wielding this weapon. It's easy to focus solely on your target while neglecting other potential threats. It can be wise to change up your position frequently. If you stick in a predictable location, more mobile pilots will be able to oust you easily. When on the move, you'll want to retain an ounce of caution. With slower handling speeds, you can't hang with an SMG in a surprise encounter. One thing you can do to increase your odds of winning a close range gunfight is to leverage your D magazine with preemptive fire. With a full 80 rounds at your disposal, it's not harmful to start shooting early if you suspect an enemy is moving fast on your position. Done right, this pre-firing tactic will catch your attacker by surprise. And they might yet blunder straight into your shots. The Spitfire is a weapon of immense firepower, designed on the premise that more is always better. Nothing else comes close to offering a similar level of sustained output. With a huge magazine dispensable at a steady rate for nearly 10 seconds of continuous fire. Paired with high damage, no other automatic weapon can hope to put as much lead down range, nor successfully tackle multiple opponents without pause. Unfortunately, the weapon is somewhat tough to handle. From its slow handling and poor hip fire to the rambunctious level of recoil, getting shots accurately on target can be a challenge. Still, with a good position and the right mindset, this weapon can be put to task extremely well and will reward those who can take advantage of maximum firepower. Given the right angle of attack, your assault will be devastating. The Spitfire will fill the air with lead and leave your enemy's plans in cinders. Thank you very much for your presence and do join me next time when we'll be covering the Longbow DMR Sniper. Until then, farewell.